What's going on guys, Andrew Pillock Hockey here. I'm back with another video. Again, trying to bring you guys content almost every single day. I know I uploaded three times yesterday. I, I believe that's when this video is going up. Um, or it was either yesterday or the day before. I'm trying to get these up as quick as possible. A bunch of more videos are coming. Um, probably four or five more this week again. Uh, like I told you guys, just really want to bring you guys the best content possible because you guys have been really supportive. As you can see by the title, today I'm going to be making a video on who I believe has the greatest impact on their team in the NHL. And by that I mean like I'm looking at players who basically drive the offense or you know when they're not on the ice or when they're out with injury their team starts to you know falter a little bit and go down in the standings and you know cost themselves a playoff spot or you never know um, but that's kind of the idea I'm talking about in this video now uh, before I get started there's gonna be some pretty obvious names in this list I believe how many do I have I have my sheet in front of me I have one two three four names that I'm gonna be talking about here the one name that's left out is Sidney Crosby and I think we all know Pittsburgh's a powerhouse but I think that they could probably handle a little bit more without Sidney Crosby. We've seen it before with the concussion issues. They've been pretty much fine without him. But we all know Crosby's a big impact player. I wanted to leave him off this list. But the whole point of this video is there is going to be a lot of obvious names on here. I'm going to turn it over to you guys in this video. I want to know who you guys think has the best impact or greatest impact to their team in the NHL. I want to see it in the comments section. I love seeing you guys uh, respond to all these videos and stuff like that. And if you're new, click subscribe, hit the notifications, whatever you want to do. Uh, because I, I want to have more hockey conversations with you because there will be a lot more videos like this coming up. And I've already talked for two minutes so you guys don't want to hear about this crap. You want to see the video. So let's get right into it. Like I said, the names that I don't say on this list, I want you guys to comment and give me a reason why you think they have the greatest impact on their team. So, uh, to start it off, I want to talk about a guy that I have personally said is one of my favorite players in the NHL just off of pure talent, and it's Nikita Kucherov. Now, he uh, had 85 points last year, 40 goals, 45 assists, just absolutely ridiculous numbers for a guy that e didn't even play the whole season. I believe I wrote it down, 74 games he played. Now, we all know Tampa Bay missed the playoffs, and that kind of, you know, put me on the fence a little bit when I was making this video because I wanted to talk about players that can drag teams to the playoffs. But looking at the Tampa Bay Lightning's injury trouble, and we talked about this in the Tampa Bay Lightning could win the Stanley Cup video, go check it out if you haven't already. He basically almost dragged the Tampa Bay Lightning into the NHL playoffs this year, and if there was less injuries, you know, to the team, he probably would have been the biggest reason why they were in that spot and they probably could have made a decent run. Tampa is very dangerous when they're healthy and Kucherov put up a bunch of points. 40 goals. He was on a tear at the end of the season. Every time I was watching a Tampa Bay Lightning game, and like I mentioned, I did watch a ton of them making sure they weren't going to pass my Leafs. They almost did. I was watching him almost specifically going, this guy is absolutely ridiculous. Every time he touched the puck, I thought the puck was going in the net. And he does dish out assists with 45 of those. Um, he he was very impactful to his team. And that's the main reason why I have him on this list. Because, like I said, without Stamkos, without all these other key players on their team, he almost dragged them to the playoffs. And that is something that a, a lot of players can't do in the NHL. So I had to put him on this list. The next player I have on here is Eric Carlson. Now we all know he is one of the best defensemen, if not the best defenseman in the NHL. I personally think he's the best defenseman in the world. He controls everything for the Sens. He drives the offense. He puts up a lot of points. 77 games had 71 points. If he's playing that 82 games, he's putting up way more points. And, you know, it's not like, oh, he could have had a point here, a point there. Carlson has a chance to put up three points every game. The, the guy just, he, he just flat out does it. He goes in there, he scores, he dishes the puck. We all know he's dangerous every time he touches it. It scares me as a Leaf fan. Every time he has a puck, I'm like, oh, great, here we go. Carlson's going for a skate. Um, like I said, he it's not just the points, too. Ottawa, I, I don't want to say they snuck into the playoffs because they had a pretty, you know, decent end of their season there. They, they, they made it, but... If he plays the full 82 as well, I think Ottawa starts to run away with some more points and their spot is more solidified. Because you got to remember, the Leafs was almost catching up to them as well. So, 
with Carlson in the lineup for a full 82, if he doesn't get injured, Ottawa's looking a little better than they were before. And I think he's a little bit underrated defensively. I think that defensively, he is a very big body. He, well, not huge, but like he's big enough that he's a good size for a defenseman. Um, he's a leader. He's very vocal. We all know that he is a guy in the dressing room that everybody wants to listen to because he is that good. And he's his previous career high last year was 175 block shots. He blocked 201 shots this season. As a goalie myself, and I know I've mentioned that a lot, but guys that will lay out and block shots, they're your best friend. Let's be real here. Just, again, Carlson is a guy that drives the offense and definitely deserves to be on this list because he does impact his team in a very positive way, and he is a guy that drives an offense for, for the Ottawa Senators. He's got to be on this list. The next one on this list will surprise people that I don't have him last, but I don't really have these guys kind of ranked, but the last one is, to me, the biggest one, but... Next is Connor McDavid, and we all know Connor McDavid is the best player in the NHL besides Sidney Crosby, and I know a lot of people are going to be mad, like I mentioned, that I left Crosby off this list, but again, like I said, just watch the beginning of the video, but um, he increases puck possession numbers for everybody on the team, including Leon Dreisaitl. I believe with Dreisaitl, both of them, uh, their puck possession went up, but Dreisaitl significantly. You have to remember, with a player like Dreisaitl, without McDavid, he will put up points. I believe without McDavid, he had like 19 goals or something like that. Um, not this season, but the previous season. Uh, m with McDavid, though, he takes Dreisaitl from an impact player to a star. And... Dreisaitl put up a lot of points alongside McDavid, and I'm sure he can do it by himself, but it just takes him to that next level, and look at the big monster contract he got. I'm not saying McDavid just got him that, but, you know, it, it helped playing alongside arguably the, the best player in the world. Um, with McDavid, his puck possession was around 54%, without was 48%. I'm, I'm not sure if those numbers are uh, insanely correct there or accurate, but I did get them from a couple sources, so if you see something else, let me know, but that's what I got. But it's not just dry settle. He helps the entire team. A power play, if he's out there on a penalty kill, whatever it is, McDavid is one of the fastest players in the league. He will get a play going. His breakouts are incredible because if... You know, his teammates get left behind a little bit. McDavid's still able to blow past defenders. And, you know, this year he's going to put up another 100-something points. Without McDavid, I don't know if the Oilers are making the playoffs because he does drive a ton of that offense. Without McDavid on the ice, the Oilers' uh, shot attempts actually do go down, of course. How could they not? Uh, but with McDavid on the ice, it goes up in, by a large margin. And without Eberle there, they're going to need more production from him and Drysaddle and other players um, on the team, Strom just coming in. But like I said, for McDavid specifically, there's not much else you can say besides that this guy literally is one of the best players we've seen in a while, and he's going to continue to do that and impact the Oilers because, like I said, I don't know if they're a playoff team without McDavid. And don't hate me, Oilers fans. Like I said, the Oilers are like my second favorite team. But without McDavid, I don't know how far you get. So I, I think that he's got to be here. At number one, this is the guy that I said you could argue is the most valuable to his team in the entire NHL, and I think you guys know what's coming. Carey Price. Now... Look at what happened to the look at what happened to the Montreal Canadiens team in the what was it 15 16 season they were they started off the season with like nine straight wins Carey Price you know gets hurt and they're they're pretty much done uh I I don't believe the injury came right after the nine wins but it was it was pretty close to when they were still on the hot streak doing amazing everything looked great people were saying that you know Montreal was going to win the Stanley Cup they looked so good and me personally I was a little it's like, oh man, Montreal has really turned it on this year. But when Carey Price got hurt, they looked terrible. So Price got hurt, and I believe he came back in October at some point. Played and then again got hurt in November, and people were arguing that he came back way too early. Carey Price was basically out for the rest of the season. I think there was stuff off and on, whatever, but he was out indefinitely. And Montreal fans started to realize that maybe Carey Price was saving them on a nightly basis. Now, I'm not saying that Montreal was ter a terrible team, because we all know they were good, but Carey Price is that piece that solidifies them as that over-the-top team. And I read a couple articles, actually, that were done in Montreal that were saying, hey, listen, Montreal fans need to start realizing that Carey without Carey Price, this team may not be a playoff team. 
I, I don't know if I would go that far, but at the same time, I kind of agree. Because Carey Price is winning them games. There's some nights where they get outshot a ton, and Carey Price is bailing them out, but the offense hasn't always been there. And that's a thing with Montreal that they're getting better at, acquiring Drew End, which is pretty awesome. They've lost some offense this year, but with Carey Price, you never know where the season could go. There was something in an article that I read as well that really stuck with me, and it's something that I've heard a lot on TV, and, and of course you guys have probably heard it, but the term when a team wins when they had no business winning. This kind of applies to some games that Carey Price was in goal for the Montreal Canadiens because there was games where he stole where they had no business winning. The biggest point for me with Carey Price is without Price, Montreal isn't competitive. Without him in the net, like, no disrespect. I don't even know who their backup goalie is at this point. But no disrespect to them. They're just not competitive without Carey Price. Carey Price is a leader in the locker room. He's a community ambassador, and he's killer on the ice. And that's where I'm going to end this video. Again, I went on too long, but I had to mention these points. Let me know what you guys think. I want to know who you guys think is the most impactful player to their team in the NHL. Um, these guys, again, a couple of them, actually probably all of them were pretty obvious, but at the same time, these were just players that I wanted to talk about personally that I maybe haven't had the chance to talk about in depth and the reasoning why I have them, because there's a lot of players that are left out of here. Like I said, I barely mentioned Sidney Crosby, but I want to leave that to you guys. I want you guys to talk to me and I want you guys to comment about who you guys think uh, is the most impactful to their team in the NHL. Let me know. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. We're having a lot more content being posted on here. It's been great. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Go support other YouTubers. Um, a couple of them that I'll mention here, Downtown Sports, I believe he's posting a new one, and uh, SoCal Hockey. Um, I've got, I believe it's SoCal Hockey. Actually, I, I need to make sure I get this right. SoCal Hockey Fan 97. That's the name. I, I just didn't want to mess it up. I know he just changed it. So go subscribe to those accounts if you get a chance. Um, Alvin01 is another one. I believe that's the exact name. But go support other YouTubers. Peace.